going? All right. We are back. And after a after the little combat, some fighting, uh, yep, guys are able to kind of sit down and rest. And if there's a camp out, you all had a giant, you know, all together, a giant, uh, you know, decent sized meal. Uh, with Pop Paolo and everybody. Uh, yeah, it was a pretty, pretty good time. But uh, you guys kind of get up and travel once again. And you are nearing one of uh, the main island. You guys are asked to, you know, investigate. This is uh, where they felt the, the your Dryad Companion quest giver. You tell you where they felt the corruption at. And that again is Lampacula that is the island as the mists on the horizon parts revealing a gigantic tree thousands of feet tall its highest branches hidden by clouds the great tree's burrows are bent barren and lifeless and if I could get uh, a history check from you all. Okay, so. Uh, Nimbus and Call, uh, you're able to kind of, you, you, you've, you're pretty sure you've, you, you remember reading about that. Paola will uh, point out to you all, and I am sure the handout we looked at earlier when traveling along the, you know, traveling along the Sky Bridge, you know, the giant tree in the background, I'm assuming that's kind of where path is he'll point out to you all that uh, that is the tree the Bathalong Puno that is the holy that is uh, one of the holy trees of the De, De Luongo archipelago it was burned by invaders a long time ago and as soon as you all kind of and then uh Nimbus and Hancock kind of like, yeah, you know, uh, kind of like you heard that too and from the tale. So, and the first thing as you see it and as you're making your way, you do get a strong, the strong stench of ash premates the, the air. And Paolo's cousins will also tell you that uh, the island was once long ago that they were told from stories that it used to have mangrove forests and it was once very verdant, but now it is a swamp. And uh, from a map, you know, you're, you know, get, we're all given. Uh, you guys can kind of see you guys are kind of starting around here and one place that they should probably check out is the Bathalong Puno where the, where the big tree is at check that out that might be where um, the dragon the Baku Bakuawa uh, is and as you guys as the sky bridge ascends into a sizable island overgrown with tangled swamp vegetation and covered in haze tasting of ash a few acres at the sky bridges and have been cleared and surrounded by a wooden palisade within you will see simple wooden buildings and dingy tents uh, that form an encampment now as you guys kind of arrive uh, you can, uh, you immediately kind of see, uh, coming out, you see about 
uh, a few uh, you like you see some sentries they immediately see you all and they order you to halt and they pull out the crossbows and they are kind of uh, yell out first in the native language and then they'll say in the more common tongue you know you know who are you you know you know what are you doing here we so. come in peace we only seek information about the uh, Bakunawa uh, sacred dragon you know and, and, and it looked uh, you guys can go ahead and and give me a persuasion check, and you will do this with advantage, because Paolo will sort of will sort of have his hands up and uh, cooperate with you guys, kind of. Ah, there we go. Well, you know, yeah, two out of three ain't bad. As you know, you're all kind of talking, and sort of def as the uh, ventral sentries sort of lower their crossbows at you all, um, uh, they will tell you that you know they they got a mess hall. And a trading post if you're looking to resupply. Yeah, but of course. However, as you guys uh, start, uh, you know, uh, moving in, you know, trying to get the lay of everything in this swamp area, you hear... A horn. Uh, a horn sounds from the camp's south gate. A sentry set running toward the opposite side of the camp. Arrow people start to scatter. You all see several tortured looking incorporeal undead uh, start attacking the sentries that are here. Uh, I have everyone here. Priscilla is going to be to the side. As these wraith like uh, wraith like beings start uh, start coming after you all, and uh, we you know throw some initiative again. Ooh. Okay. Uh, Finally, some undead show up. I get mm -hmm. a five. Mm -hmm. Of course, and and these are very, you know pretty quick undead. At least two out of three of them. Uh, let's see. Four are we? Okay, I got it. Yeah, we got everybody. Okay. With the tiebreaker, this wraith will go first. Yeah, finally some undead. Moving through with the ash. Offer in 60. You know, well, it's going to go after Hidden Claw. It's right there. And we'll attempt to life. Ooh. Uh, attempt to life drain. <laughs> Succeeding. Okay. It must be hidden because I don't see it. Oh, crap. I, it is hidden. It is hidden. Sorry. Uh, I wrote, I, it critted. I guess I'm so used to the other creep, other 
things not um, so uh, it was a 26 with a natural crit and then uh, uh, 40 points of necrotic damage and you must succeed on a uh, DC 14 con save well I'll, I'll, pull, I'll paste it again Alrighty. so let's see 44 you said let's see no, no, just 40. 40. Okay, and I'm going to use my... Do we have inspiration of this game, or...? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll use it on the con save. It, that is a well-spent, uh, inspiration. Uh, so, um, very ouch. Jinx. Alright, uh... uh Shanks is gonna try to go after this one, keep it busy. So, I will, uh... Two long more shots at that one. Uh, 27 should do it, 14 probably missing. Uh, you know, 14 to hit. Cool. Uh, I will use my favorite foe on this. So that, 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 and that. Okay, you feel the fire not as effective. Sure. And uh, Skidmarks is going to try to go over there and get in his face. He's going to uh, fly up and smash into him and try to shove him prone. Okay. Uh, you know, can't... Y you feel like, as it does, like with not having legs, it, it seems immune to such a such a feat. All right, good to know. Well, Skid Marks is dumb; he didn't know that, so that's it. End of turn. Sounds. Actually, good. you know what? I'll spend some movement and get behind this rock over. Sounds good. Okay, that one. You know, it's it's it, it's gonna get next to this lush, and uh. I'm try, trying to get trying to get that dragon. Uh, uh but uh, eleven's a miss, so a uh, hidden claw. Alrighty. Let's see which one did uh Shanks hit before? Uh, uh, this this one in the back. I don't think I want to give up an op, uh, not with my current health. Uh, I guess Hidden Claw will turn to this guy here, uh, attempting to uh, strike him with a boot to the head. That sounds good. Hits. Well, bludgeoning, and I'm going to spend a key to try and stun him. All right. Okay. Uh, no. <laughs> Super rain. Okay. Uh, follow up with another boot to the head. Uh, yeah, that hits. Oh, okay. Fourteen. Let's try another stun. Let's see if you can right, get yeah. that high twice in a row. Um, okay, yeah. he is stunned. Okay, yeah. It, it, and and just, just to make sure you're correct, it has to specifically mention stun, right? For it to not be affected. Correct. Right. Yeah, because yeah, okay. yeah, it's, it's like uh, it can't be paralyzed or um, restrained. and I'm just like, okay, that's, that's not one of those weird things that, well, blah, blah, blah. Okay, and it being cool. incapacitated. Yeah, incapacitate. Incapacitated. Nope, that is not a thing. It is... Okay, I'm going to bonus action flurry of blows. Go ahead and boot this guy in the head. Okay. For 11 bludgeoning. I'll try and stun him also. Oof. 
goodness, these guys are rolling well. Yeah. yeah. Okay, one last hit. That, yep, hits. Might as well go for the stun. Let's see yeah, what happens. All right, let's. Ooh. Oh, and he is not stunned. And I am done, sir. All righty. Brig. All right. Uh, Brig will rage again. Again, taking spiny tail form. Uh, and will uh, attack the one that is uh, stunned in place. Uh, uh, solid hits. Uh, and then we'll move over uh, on the other side, and that will end my turn. Alrighty. Uh, yeah, the one that. No! Oh, what, uh, oh, oh, what, oh. It's all good. Don't okay. worry about it. I was going to go for the hat trick. All right. Well, this one will reach out and try to get. Ooh, 20. Oh, this one will try to get skid marks. 21. That a lot. All right. So, necrotic right. damage and a con save. Oh no. Oh no. Well, um, you know, in a way, it's not really hurt from this. It just. But ouch. Eh, worst case scenario, I'll get a, I'll get always get a back, but still, ouch. Yes. All right. Now that's. And then pass. All right. I'm going to stand here. And I'm going to cast Spirit Guardians as the ravens of the Raven Queen will flit around me and try and drive these things back to where they came from. Okay. Um, I think that's it till their turn. You want to roll the damage? Uh, sure. 12 Radiant. Okay. All right. Do you want me to turn on the aura? Nah, that's good. You're there at a perfect spot. I, I'd be very surprised if they will last, you know, long enough to where I need to hold on to it. But all, all good. Anything else? No. Nimbus. All right. Well, Mr. Nimbus was going to go for the hat trick, but that is fine. Um, let's see. He will maneuver to there. Bonus action. We will telekinetically shove the prone one up, back, and to the left. Oh, the stunned one? Yeah, so he oh. auto fails. Mm hmm. You said it to the left, like here. Exactly. Okay. And then he flies over to there, getting just the right angle, and wishes to draw a line. A five foot wide line, not getting brig. Uh, that looks. Yeah, that works. You know, getting like half-ish their squares. So, uh, yeah. We will do a lightning bolt. Alright. And, uh, you know what? We will re-roll some of those. We will re-roll all the ones and all the threes. Sounds good.
and I did less. No, I did one more damage. Hey. All right, so that's a straight 30 or a 15 for the two that pass. Or they're probably resistant, and I did next to nothing. Uh, I mean, that's accurate. Uh, they, they seem resistant to the uh, a, a lightning damage. That one takes a full... That one takes a little, you know, a little less, but still really hurt. That one and then takes... this top guy that's stunned will also take two additional. Well, you know what? We'll try thunder. Did thund does thunder work better for him? Uh, no. It, it, it seems to take two more. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. But uh, uh, uh. still standing. Still stunned. <laughs> okay. Turn. Uh, let's turn. I think it's stunned until Hidden Claw's turn, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, okay. Then, all right, Jinks. All right, uh, I'll keep focusing on this one over here. So uh, two shots on that one. Uh, how's the 15? Uh, they both hit. And a, uh, let's add a Infused Strike and a Fury. And uh, I will get uh, Skid Marks to bite that one, too. Alrighty. Hit. For five piercing and four fire. Oh, and how does Skid Marks uh, destroy the Wraith? Uh, just, uh, like, uh, He'll, like, bite him straight in the face and then belch a little bit of fire, like, right in his mouth, and, uh, that'll take it out. Nice. And, uh, that'll be it for us. Okay, the Wraith, you know... Oh, man. Actually, it's gonna try to get, uh, you know... Yeah, let, let's try to get Hidden Claw. Are these guys taking damage on oh, the Oh, sorry, sorry, your turn. That is right. Thank you. It is wisdom saving yes. throw. Um. Yes. Okay, so. I think I rolled a twelve way up there. Okay, twelve, and the radiant doesn't like it. Did you oh. do it for the other one? I did not do it with the other one. I forgot about the other one. Uh, it. You know what? This is important. It might just... It poofs. How does it poof? It gets pecked by ravens as it, they peck it down back into the underworld to to uh, go on to the afterlife. Okay. Uh, you know what? This one will, from the re energy, will reel back, provoking from skid marks and hidden claw. Uh, skid marks doesn't have a reaction. That infused okay. strike is skid marks' reaction. Oh, okay. Alright. Um, it'll just move up here to. Away from the radiant energy, and we'll try to, you know, get all up in for Brig. Alright. Uh, eight. I, I will flick my tail. I cannot get higher than a three. Uh, that hits for 17. Okay, all right. Uh, Let's see if I can get higher than a three on the con save. No. Ooh. Yeah, it's, it's just, uh, you know, 85 is just a new normal then for now. There you go. And then uh, Hidden Claw. I will chase this dastardly wraith. Drop a kick upon his head. And how do you dispatch this one? Oh, I just, you know, like Chun Li Street Fighter style, just throw a bunch of kicks. Nice. Yeah, you know, even though he's Ooh, already been battered, I'm gonna just continue just, to just kick, 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 kick. Uh, you, you know what? You, you do, uh, you know that those lightning kicks just. Then you get claps as uh, the very fluid of everything and just spirit just 
away. Alright. Well, after a thing such as that, whenever they calms down, the undead, um, actually, you all get approached by, uh, looks like a, another figure, he will, uh, kind of approach you guys, you know, ha you know, heavy armored, you know, um, and a weapon and shield, I'll just watch you all, says, ah, oh, uh, my thanks for, uh, for your assistance, uh, assistance back there with these wraiths. I am uh, Captain Atoy, and you are welcome to rest and eat and resupply while we uh, while we clean things up around here. And the captain asks, oh, "So tell me, you know, what uh, what brings you all here?" I think I think my uh, censors are saying you were something about uh, uh, a bakawana. Yes, we seek information about the sacred dragon. Uh, apparently, has been acting erratically. Mm, okay. Well, I have heard from some our scouting troops. I return. There's a ruin called Sorrow's Zenith. Uh, they reported that the Strange vegetation, um, as they put it, breathe, breathe with hatred. Um, that was a couple weeks ago. Um, I'm not sure if that might have anything to do with uh, the Bakawana, but uh, there's that. But um, if you're trying to find the Bakawana... Um, you know, you bet it, trying to get to the to our sacred like tree, um, our old one. Uh, you will must take you must go through miles of the the swamp. Uh, we call it the weeping paths. You have to traverse. Um, I've heard, they they've told me tales of uh, undead as well as uh, more uh, lively and vicious vegetation. Things you wouldn't normally see here? Uh, no, that that is actually normal. The only thing that is new is that we've seen some flashes of blue lightning near uh, Pangle's uh, lair from the stories, the the great tree. But uh, when actually, honestly, it wouldn't make anything up until you mentioned it just now. I figure maybe it might have been just un, uh, just other undead, new undead we'd have to deal with. How often do you have to deal with the undead? Mm. Uh, every um, usually it's it's maybe some days at a time. Usually, it's, uh, normally it's only a couple weeks that we dealt with it. But uh, lately, it, it's been uh, more frequent. Since the lightning showed up? Um, eh, close to around that time, yeah. Curious. Uh, yeah, I think, I think we saw more undead and then the lightning. You will think are they connected? We've seen stranger things in the past, but this sorrow zenith does seem like it bears some more investigation. And they will say, if you make the tree, it's uh the sorrow zenith's a little bit out of your way, but um, uh, traveling through. 
the weeping paths uh, takes a long time anyways. Um, uh, the, the swamp and, and the hills makes it difficult to travel normally. Uh, scouts usually uh, it usually takes them a, a lot longer to, to go to and report back. But I would say here, uh, you able to, I will say you guys can take a long rest essentially here. Uh, just from the fighting because they'll tell you that uh, if you want to get to the tree uh, you know through like kind of guesstimations you know it'll it, to reach the tree it takes it takes a full day to reach the tree and it takes like half a day to, to reach uh, uh, it takes like half a day to reach the zenith so and then from there it, it a little bit longer uh, to get there. But you're all welcome to, to kind of rest here. Greg would be happy taking them up on that offer if you're all willing to rest. Yeah, that sounds good. And yeah. we'll take care of the issue with our, uh, you know, our afflictions from those wraiths. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, so we can do a long rest later, and okay, we're back to full. And then as we start the a, a, another travel montage, but as you are all traveling, um, they, they... so we do long rest. Yes, you do long rest. Good. I was not sure how I was going to heal my friends. Yeah. No. The. Uh... I guess greater restorations would have been in order, but uh, actually, uh, yeah. I think it just says till you long rest. I was thought that was cured with greater restoration. Uh, either way, yeah. Either way, it's fine. Um, alrighty. But beyond the camp, the ash heavy air closes in. Decay and ruin are everywhere. From the murky water flowing through the endless swamp to the mildewed vines and the rotting roots of the swollen mangrove and the banyan trees. So, as you are all traveling, um, they are not lying. Uh, the, the swamp in Overgrown Hills essentially makes your travel a, a makes it a difficult terrain. It's it, so takes you guys even longer. And as you guys are traveling, what well, and not not to mention it's hard to travel. You know, it, there's there is foliage in this haze that makes it lightly obscured. So I guess causing you all to have disadvantage on perception checks that rely on sight. But as you all are traveling, and shakes. Oh, uh. Oh wait, Shanks, did you take the alternative instead of the for the ranger features? Uh well, I've got that this. Oh uh, yeah, I was about to say. You know what? That it Okay. That's important. Cause I was gonna say, uh I, I think the original ones actually helped the party, but it looks like the newer ones are, are kind of like ranger centric. Yeah, I was just like, I am on the old ones. Like, the party travels. Okay, so, um, uh, yeah, I'd say, with, with well, the, that's, that's, like, yeah, that's an original ability. Oh, it's one of the original ones? Yeah, that doesn't replace anything. 
Okay. Because you didn't pick a favorite terrain, right? Well, that's the new stuff. Uh... Yeah, that's the, the stuff Deft Explorer replaces Natural Explorer. I gotcha. Yeah, so I have Depth Explorer instead of Natural Explorer, so it doesn't uh, have, like, a favorite terrain. Exactly. Okay. 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 All right. But Shanks, actually, hey, let's do, uh, let's do a Navigator check. Let's do some, let's do Survival. Sure. Uh, I will, uh, you know, take a look around and see if I can find her. I will guidance our ranger. I think an upgrade can be assisting, although you didn't need it that time. Yes. Oh, excellent. Well, with all of you going together, uh, Shanks, as you are, you know, leading the, uh, leading the crowd, leading the group, large group, actually, with, uh, Dragon Hunter is kind of with you guys. Uh, there's a haze that kind of surrounds you all. And, and, and you're kind of be the person that can notice it kind of centers around yourself. But this uh, this haze turns into this dense gray uh, miasma. And then with your earlier kind of survival, uh, you notice that the haze is growing thicker and more pungent. It's starting to smell like grape when he gets out of the water. Uh, yeah, you know, it's, uh, maybe a little worse than that. Yeah, so, so what do you all do? And, and I would say, yeah, everyone got, like, an awesome passive perception. So you all notice kind of this area kind of around you guys starts getting just a lot more uh, thick, thicker and more pungent. Is it kind of coming from everywhere? Uh no, it, it seems to be like a patch where you're like you're you're guiding them through. It, it's like, it, it's like it's there, like in the terrain. It's like the specific area you guys are in. It, it it's just, it's getting, uh, just this haze that's been around. It's just getting thicker and more pungent than any other parts. My friend Shanks, is there another path that you can lead us around this stench? Uh, let me see if I can find one. Sure. Uh, do you want another survival check? Nah, nah. No, you, you can... Uh, as you all sort of move away from that uh, stench, it's it, it, it just... It's almost like poisonous to the... You know, as, as you're backing away from it. But as you guys are kind of, like, backing up... Uh, Mr. Nimbus, you're noticing like uh, you're, you're kind of looking around, you know, what? and I'm assuming you're you're flying in the air. Of course. Well, as you are moving through the air, you know, behind, you know, you're about to put your hand on uh, this one tree. It looks pretty sturdy, but you know, it, it's definitely scarred. It's got like flame scars on this tree. And then you just notice the the tree's eyes open up, just kind of crazed look in its eyes, and then it just it yells something in Sylvan, which who understands Sylvan? Hidden Claw. Primordial isn't Sylvan, or no, not it. I know that, uh, unlike the party from before, who everyone knew Sylvan, this one. It shouts out to you as it, uh, as it gets ready for combat that nobody can.
can see I have to unhide it. Enough, you knew any better. It, 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 it called you. It called you guys something. A, a, a very not nice word, probably. And yeah, I think you guys can see. All right. Mr. Nimbus, it looks like it's ready to attack. Well, it looks ready to attack. It's Beth. I'm going to firebolt that tree. Ouch. Why, why, why would you? Horrible damage roll, but, you know. Ouch. Ouch. Uh, fire tree. It said something not nice to us, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. We called you guys something not nice. Speak Elvish, is that close enough that I would know it was like a not nice thing? Uh, you know, defile something. Gotcha. End of turn. What brig? Uh, all right. I will, um, uh, back up just a little tiny bit. And then I'm going to charge at that uh, tree and uh, swing recklessly. All right. Uh, uh, very recklessly sound. No, no raging? Uh, no raging because my bonus action, I am going to stomp it with my hooves. Oh, okay. All right. I should have just raged. This would be the same damage. Uh, and uh, unlike a regular centaur, I can't knock things over. Uh, so that's going to be the end of my turn. All right. Mr. Nimbus. All right. With the firebolt, did I see it take more damage from fire? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Even though it's playing scarred, it's like, ah, it, 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 it kind of screams out much more. Hmm. All right. Then what we are going to do is we are going to cast a uh, Rhymes Binding Fire. And we are going to upcast it uh, to 5th level. And, oh my gosh, I am going to spend a, another uh, sorcery point in order to re-roll four of those dice. Because I am not happy with, what is that, a total of eight. So, 48. That is much better. So, that will be an additional 13 fire. So, that would be a grand total of... 32. Okay. Well, uh, it really does not like that. It, it just starts, you start, it says burning fire everywhere. And then, uh, am I feeling threatened right here? Uh, y you know, um, it's not doing too, it's not doing too hot. So, uh, you know, maybe normally, but, uh, it, um, it, it feels like it's it's, uh, it's on its way down. Gotcha. It apparently does not like fire too much. Oh. Well, I'll see what I can do. I'll take two shots at it. Uh, yeah, two hits. And I will add a, uh, if you strike, favor foe, fear this ball. And, uh, I will get skid marks to bite as well. 
for a little bit more. Uh, oh, so how do you uh, how do you finish this thing off? You, I don't think you even needed the skid marks. It it, it uh, the arrows and the fire certainly finish it off. Well, I'll 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 aim for the two like uh, you know knots in the wood that look like eye uh, eye sockets, and I'll like uh, I'll nail uh, both in both those knots. Okay. As it, as it cries out, the, the tree just sort of sl you know, slumps and just kind of burns. But hey, you're in a swamp, so it doesn't. It's not exactly gonna really spread. And, you know, hey, you have more, uh, more ash to contend with. So, and yeah, no more, no more, uh, no more weird stenches. So it seemed like it was coming from that tree? Uh, uh, no, no, it, it just, as you were kind of moving away from that, like, me at that haze at miasma, it's like it just kind of stumbled onto, like, the tree end, essentially. Gotcha. But as you all travel some more... Uh, go ahead and uh, let's do a uh, do another survival check. All right, uh, I'll get the help from the other guidance. Mm -hmm. Looks like twenty is my final answer. All right, all right, cool, cool. And, and, and as as your kind of large group is kind of going uh, south, um, Palala will, will, will sort of um, kind of bristle about trying to go to this sorrow zenith. But uh, since you guys been able to kind of clear and you know everything, you know he uh, you know he just makes a comment like we could just make our way just to the tree and and just take out uh, Pangil once and for all. But you know, okay, we we have enough time to. Um, check out this Zorro's Zenith. Um, you all start noticing these dozens of gray... Now, unlike the rates you saw earlier, these are more... Uh, less, like... Corpor corporeal, like... Uh, you know, they're definitely more of, like, uh, traditional, like, ghosts. They're more spectral figures. They, they sort of, as you're in this, they sort of uh, s surround you as they're walking, and they're sort of moving along with you. And one of the cousins will, you know, has a bow and arrow, fires an arrow through one of them, and it just sort of goes through. It, it doesn't, doesn't really, doesn't harm them. But the spirits uh, just sort of just keep walking with you guys they don't really even react too much to the uh longbow i don't like this y'all they should pass into the afterlife why are they here you know as you turn out the one will appear next to you and uh beth and says i I was burned alive in my home. And then there is one that next that, that that appears next to Hidden Claw and says, nah, I was crushed by a massive falling tree limb. And then uh as, as it more starts running, uh, uh one is Briggs that says, uh I I was I was cut in two while I was trying to defend my, you know, defend my home. And it, 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 as he just started, like, start, like telling uh, horrible stories about 
uh, how they each died. And I'll just say, um, I'll ask each of them, why haven't you passed into the afterlife? Why linger here? Why not go to the Raven Queen where she'll care for you? And, uh, see, but they all say, but we are in the, uh, but we are here. Uh, uh, we haven't, we haven't, uh, this is where we belong. Uh, we can't, we can't leave. Why can't you leave? This, this is the land of the living. You need to go to the land of the dead where you can rejoin your loved ones and wait for others. This isn't right. They start looking at you perplexed and they all, they seem to ask each of you, like the different spirits, they all ask you all the same question. Uh, tell us, how did you die? And Wait a minute. Are we in the the undead world? Uh, uh well one you're sure like no 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 you're you're not in an undead world. Um But Hidden Claw the, they pose you the question, how did you die? And what do you what do you respond with? Well, luckily I have nine lives, but uh I did die chasing a fish. Deep into the sea. It was the tastiest fish. I did catch it, but unfortunately I drowned. No, no. Uh, uh, you know the one about, I wish I had more than one life. I would have got up after being crushed to death. And then uh, they go to Shanks. Yeah, the same question. How did you die? What, uh, I don't remember dying, but if I did die, it probably involved this jerk and a bunch of alcohol, and I'll point over to skid marks. Uh, they'll, they'll look at each other. Uh, that won't do. And uh, give me a wisdom saving throw. All right, wisdom save. Uh, 11. Okay, well... You know, since you correctly stated, I, I didn't die. You burst into flames for 40 points of fire damage. Jesus. Uh, <clears throat> well, good news is because of uh, skid marks, I'm resistant to that, so I'll take the 20. Okay, you're just like, ah, ah. Uh, the, yeah, sort of, everyone eyes uh, lights up, and then... Uh, Let's see, going back with Mr. Nimbus. They, they, they look up to you. How did you die? How did you die? Oh, I died very satisfied, very old in my bed. Oh, I, so I'm sorry. I wish I died, you know, an old, you know. And, and uh, Brig, how, how did you die? I died after I could no longer perform on stage and I was all sad and lonely and trying to climb ladders for the rest of my life. And then I fell off a ladder and then I died. Oh, you know, they, uh, here, I never heard of that one, but uh, oh, you know, okay. And then uh, uh, to Beth, how did, how did you die? So, oh, uh, uh, I guess, I guess she came back for me and finished what she started at the church that day. Uh, and they said, oh, that, that, uh, that's really sad. And then, uh, yeah, they just kind of, eventually they, they, they walk with you some more. Um, and then, uh. After Shanks' uh, you know, wild uh, experimentation, everyone's like, oh, yeah, I, I, I died horribly, too. Yeah, they're like, okay. And then 
all the spirits sort of uh, just, uh, they do disappear. That was, that was strange. Indeed. They didn't realize where they were. Uh, I'm going to hit Shanks with the Cure Wounds. I'm going to do it at second level. Cool. Thank you. For 14. Wow, it was worth upcasting it for that extra one point of healing. Hey, you never know. Might be yeah. the difference between me going down or not. It's true. Uh, I'm going to try a uh, new ability and uh, focus my ranger energy and go tireless and gain uh, four tempo points. Okay. Uh, cool. Ah, uh, very cool. All right. Um, well, after such, uh, after such a, uh, after the, those fiery speeches, um, you will come upon an ancient statue of a Bakunawa is cracked with age and covered with unusual vines amid a clutter of tangled roots, a blister-like growth heaves like a breathing thing and glows with a sickly light. And if I can get a perception check. Uh, need at least uh, gets a 14 alright okay so so far Shanks Brig okay yes to see if there is a yeah, agent statue. No, no, no. Okay. Man, I was hoping I could let you all see what the statue uh, looks like on here. Now, if you with all the handouts. But, um,. As you see, the statue, it looks like a, uh, looks like a, essentially it looks like a, dra uh, like a, like a dragon statue, but there are like these yellow, yellowish like vines and it's kind of like pulsing, but all right. Uh, but you realize that the, the movement within the mass for Shanks and Brig is a shifting of tiny ghostly figures. And who is, is uh, Shanks, are you trained in nature? Uh, nature, I am not. Okay, is anybody trained in nature? Brig is now. Okay, you know that though, that, that whole thing, what it's doing, it's, it's very unnatural. And if I can, if I can get a Arcana or Religion check. Actually, I'm going to, uh, let's see. Legend, let me see if there are handouts. Oh, the dragon. Dwarves. Oh. Let's see. Oh, there it is. 
the spirit blister. Can you guys see it? Yeah. Okay. Now that is what you all see. That looks gross. Yeah, very gross looking. Uh, what do you think that is? I've never seen anything like it. Maybe that's what's corrupt in that dragon. It certainly looks like that dragon, except messed up. And... How big is this thing, by the way? Uh, it's a statue. We'll say it's like... Uh, say like medium. Uh, no, large. I would say large. Because it's a statue. Well, I was kind of wondering how big it was, like, height-wise. Like, you know, like, 10 feet tall or something? Um, yeah, let, let, yeah, we could say 10 feet tall. It's not very specific on it. It's just, uh, it's on a statue. So I'll just, like, assume it's large. Like, 10 feet, that sounds, you know, accurate. But, um... Uh... Yeah, just kind of pulsating. Uh, uh, Hidden Claw and Brig, you're not uh, not really sure. Just, uh, just very unnatural. And the things that are moving in in the in the masses are like tiny ghostly figures. So, you know, all around kind of weird. Should we pop this pimple? Uh, uh, you, you get some shrugs from the uh, dragon hunters. I mean, I say go for it. Why don't we ask everyone to step back and Shanks, would you do the honors? All right. Uh, what, you want me to shoot it from here? Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, I'll try to take aim at the center of that blister and uh, take a shot with my short bow then. Yeah. Uh, solid hits. Uh, you know, you start hitting the blister, it, 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 it seems to do something. All right, uh, if it looks like it reacted to the shot, I'm going to uh, take another shot. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And uh, I'll add a little bit more stink on this one. I'll add uh, an infused strike. Oh. Um, you notice as you put the fire into it... Um, it, it, you see it, scree it, it screeches out from the fire and then you see that this blister just burst with a chorus of distant sighs are, are we well clear of the uh bursted pustule area uh sure yeah i i i'm I, i'm assuming no one wanted to get close to it so um and from uh, that, uh, you see a spectral, uh, a spectral dryad uh, appear, and then everyone kind of just is like, "Oh, uh, uh, thank you! I was I, I was once a proud protector of Lambakala and the temple that was here, but when the invaders burned the sacred tree." Uh, Batalang Puno in the city. Uh, we were overwhelmed by the pain of those who died. As angry spirits, we still haunt this island. Our memories are their memories are corrupting the vegetation and the creatures. If you find if you find more of these blisters, please uh, 
uh, free them, uh, free the spirits that are brooding within the, the, like this one, we, we, do, we do not like flames or the divine light. Wait, so do we free them with flames? I'm confused. It looks like the blisters are affected by flames and divine light. And it's telling us to look out for more of them. Gotcha. Uh, uh, yes, we... I, I know... I know Pangil. Uh, I fear that Pangil uh, went dormant on the island and, and the wicked spirits have corrupted it. I am sure it corrupts just like everything else in this in this land. On this island. Is there any way we could cure the corruption or it must it must it be put down? Uh, well Paulo says well of course the dragon must be put down, but the spirit will and the like, no, if you uh if you destroy the, the blisters and you can release the spirits. Uh, they should be uh, the spirit should be able to cleanse uh, Pangle of his corruption. And uh, Palolo will say, uh, "We'll we'll kind of uh, anti drugs says this." Okay, yeah, even if you free him, that dragon still abandoned my clan and my people. It, this dragon... Uh, uh, I, I don't even believe it, and that's true. That that dragon... Uh, this Pangol, this god need, needs to fall. seem quite angry, Paolo. Perhaps uh, you should speak to the creature before you pass judgment. Okay. Um, I would say I would need a uh, per, a eh, I would say like a high persuasion check. They seem, uh, the, the cousins all okay. The cousin, yeah, his cousins seem just kind of back up Paolo. So I'm not, I'm not that persuasive of a character. It's of, of course, <laughs> we start to look. <laughs> oh! No. Hidden Boom. claw. Boom! Look at that. Yeah, you know, he, he kind of, you see, he, he, he's starting to, you know, he starts to get like, he's starting to get a little flustered with the hidden claw, but, um, kind of stops and, uh, a couple of his cousins kind of put, you know, the, the, that reassuring arm on his shoulder and, you know, they say, well, it, it, it wouldn't take too much to uh, at least if we can free the blisters to um, you know hear it out first so um, just kind of just kind of look, look at them and nod and then just kind of you know uh, walk away and then just kind of point out you know where we got where you guys got to go next So I will say hidden claw. I, I, I think that's worth getting a inspiration back. Yeah, it is. Practicing uh, for that silver, the tongue of sun and moon. Mm -hmm. and, and I think it's going to talk that the spirit, the the spirit will kind of nod to you all, and then will just it will vanish.
And as you all uh, travel some more, um, the swamps start to grow drier. And um, you guys could probably, since it, it will take some time, you guys could take another, I would say you could take another short rest if you guys need to. I'm just kind of update. But I don't think you guys really got, well, you know, Shanks got her a little bit. But from the fire, but but yeah, you can uh, do some short rest and stuff. But as you guys are traveling, the swamps are growing drier, and uh, it's getting more densely forested as you guys are getting the miles of the great tree. Um, you can actually see. Um, you guys are passing through, actually start passing through overgrown ruins as you get closer to the tree. Seeing crumple structures around. Um, but if I can get just one more survival check. Yep. Guidance if Beth doesn't beat me. Yeah, yep. great. And uh, I'll ask Brig for help. Oof, not great. Uh, 17? Uh, you know what? That... Yeah, you get it. Um, you find Mark suggesting a passage of a massive creature that you can follow. Um, Yeah, all right. As you go, I can bring you all to the actual map. Okay. As you all make your way. See, you know what? I'm just going to shut off the uh, dynamic lighting because it just kind of doesn't make sense at this point. Uh, there's nothing to hide. Okay. So, as you all arrive in the trailer behind you, you see charred roots the size of buildings surround an open clearing with a broad patch of blackened ground. Nearby lie pieces of a fallen sky bridge. At the clearing center... A writhing, uh, uh, writhing vines with glowing green veins wrap around the massive form of Pangil and uh, Buon. These vines emulate, uh, emanate from four green blistering-like uh, growths entangled amid the great tree's uh, roots. And as you can see, I don't know if you see arrows, but you know, I see these little kind of things around from the tree they are they're kind of they, they look just the same as that one statue oh and let me get out of hiding Paulo and the dragon uh, okay I'm just gonna leave him here and him and his cousins One at a time, one at a time. You know, he's in the back. Like I said, they, they will decide his fate, but. And with this. Point. as you make you know um actually really quick uh how did you guys want to approach the sort of final ish area we can try and be quiet of yeah, course always good to try okay let's uh 
Let's see how quiet you guys can be. Can I have the Raven Queen guide me as I sneak up? Mm, yeah, sure, I'll give it to you. Uh, uh, ooh. I know what disadvantage. Oh, that's right, because of Mithril Mithra. play. Okay, so say yes, yes, oh, yes. Okay. Yeah. I will say you can. Uh, it will eventually. It will notice you guys, but I will give you. I'll give you. Uh, I'll give you like a surprise. I'll give you a surprise round. Uh, because you you notice as you're as you guys get closer, you know, like you know as you guys are actually surprisingly quiet. Uh, you notice that the blisters are sort of uh, pulsating more uh, rapidly as you guys approach. So um, I think I just roll for, I just do the dragon. Yeah, I should, yeah the, the things just don't do anything. Okay. Um, okay, so it is difficult to rain around it. Um, Shanks, I, I think, is it just for yourself then? You don't deal with this advantage yeah okay so everyone else well unless you could fly but everyone else is at disadvantage except for shanks and those that will fly but yeah let us just row some initiative and yeah i'll give you guys a surprise round well you know not not bad initiative i'll uh, Gotta not make it hidden. Okay. Uh, all right. Oh, it does have some legendary stuff. Alright. Uh, yeah, we will start with a brig. Alright. Uh how tall are these branches? Um uh, like five feet. I'll I'll say it like you can get up on it without too much of an issue. He also is a pretty good jumper these days, too. He'll bonus action, rage, uh, and jump up on top, and we'll uh, recklessly swing at the uh, um, the blister. Okay, the, the pimple up, poppy commence. Getting up close with this one. See how that works out. Alrighty. All right. Awesome. We got my rage damage, so add another six. For a total of thirty-four. And that blister is K is it bursts. Um, Alright. Is kinda gross. Um but I have used from where I started. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm gonna take like double movement to get up top. I will uh use uh the rest of my movement uh to go to the next blister okay i will end my turn all right mr nimbus nimbus flies 25 feet to there he sees these two in a rough line mm -hmm. if i get to there do you i think i could draw a line between those two Sure. All right. Then we will spend a sorcery point and we will make a fire bolt, but that's two words. Oh, the, the two worded fire bolts. Yes, the two worded fire bolt. Okay. Uh, 
I think I just I think it does damage because it just says AC. Doesn't say anything about um because it's considered an object, but an object you can attack, so I don't know. Gotcha. So then I guess it fails its dexterity save against this fire bolt. Yes, and this we will... We will spend another sorcery point, and we will re-roll the one, the two, and the three. Oh, Ooh. very much better. So that's uh, 39 points of fire. And uh, more flamage, more, more pimples popping. And Mr. Nimbus will fly over there and go, ah, ha, ha. Success! End of turn. Okay, Beth of the Bray. Uh, I'll reposition so I can see the pimple that Brigand is next to, and I will hit that one with Firebolt. Okay. Yes. Oh my gosh. I you know I didn't even need to give you guys a surprise round, but that worked. And then I'll just kind of be over here keeping an eye on the cousins. Uh well the, the cousins are just are just kind of in awe to seeing how quickly you did that. Like they're just like they're just trying to get their bows out and ready, and you guys already uh, have popped all the pimples. So very nice. This is super gross. I'm a hundred percent sure I just didn't play test in this one. No, we yeah, you may not have been there, but we definitely did this combat with less pimples. Uh, uh, yes. I would have I would have remembered this part. Um. It was. Ooh, I remember they do the, They were doing stuff on top of it, if I remember. But anyways, um. So as uh, the blister. So all dragons. I will say surprise. It, it's shaking. It's, um, I will say also it's. It sort of wake up. And you notice that it's well. You guys can notice at this point that its eyes were um, kind of the same color as the uh, as the blisters, like the same kind of like the green kind of his. It's starting to go away, but it's still very uh, agit. It, it's it seems in the middle of. You know, that mid state between agitated and angry to maybe something more normal. So, but you know, it, it's it's a turn surprised. So, Hidden Claw, what you want to do? Oh, great sacred dragon, we come in peace. We have helped cleanse the corruption of this land by destroying these uh, disgusting spirit blisters. Come peaceably with us so we may explain what has taken place. Please? Okay. Okay. Oh my God. All right. um, do you want to do anything else? Well, let's start with that and let's see what it says. Okay, okay, okay. I'll give it time to react. It's, it's, it's still. You guys are still faster than it, so. Well, all right, I'll, I'll go. I'm gonna switch over to Shanks real quick. Do you, uh, you want to do anything right now, or? Um. No, I was gonna concentrate on those pimples, but since they're off, uh, I'm gonna, you know, back uh, hidden claw and say like, uh. Yeah, we're. We hope you feel better now that uh, the corruption's gone and everything. But I'm not going to do anything else. Sure. Sure. And and, and then uh, Brig. Uh, Brig will. Uh, 
he'll whack himself with his tail to keep the rage going. Okay. But otherwise, he'll stay in one place, just waiting to see what happens. He okay. Himself with the tail. Fair. Okay, Mr. Nimbus. Um. I go ahead and give me an Arcana check. Magic is comes from my soul. Uh, okay. Um, eh, you know, you know, it, it's kind of flickering between you know uh, the green and not green. Um, eh. I will speak of the draconic to it. Okay. Oh, wise and great dragon, we have freed you from the corruption, as my friend said. Please wait momentarily and let us explain more. Okay. All right. Very nice. Okay. Anything else? Are you just gonna wait and see? Wait and see. Okay. Path of the Bray. Come on, uh, drag anything, uh. You're not corrupted anymore. You gotta, you gotta let the souls work with you. You gotta send them to the afterlife or something. You gotta make sure everyone here is taken care of. Be a good dragon. And I'm gonna wait. Okay. And on a pain. Oh, Could sorry, I make an arcana check about what's going on? That's on sure. Nimbus. Maybe I'll be better at it. Sure. No. Like, you know, like, think of something, like, top, you know, tip of my tongue, but I can't think of it. Okay. Uh, well, um, on Pangle's turn, uh, he <laughs> will, um, so he's like, oh, oh, he'll just sort of moan and shake and, and, and sort of lift him kind of self up uh, from the uh, kind of fly up. And Pingo says, ah, I, I am, I'm, I, I'm free. I, oh, I, I. All, I uh, all, all I've seen are flashes i so, so I... I i i don't know what i've done i i've i've just i've just been feeling the uh, the corrupt uh, the the pain and the anguish of of the city that um I was supposed to help protect, and I, 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 I was, I was only away for a little bit. But when I tried to come back, it was too late, and I came down uh, to. I remember coming down, and I wanted to, uh, to be. I wanted to make sure rest here again, and and make sure. Uh, what happened before would happen again, but I just been feeling just the pain and anguish of of, of the people of, the, of my of our people here, and uh, I, I I I I'm glad you all have freed me from this. Uh, I think the the only thing that I could think of is my my one companion. A uh, I was able to stop myself from harming, uh, the uh, harming too many people of Kalapang, when I sensed uh, Lungtian's presence. Um, and says, so uh, But uh, I, well, I, I, I thank you. Uh, I don't know why. Uh, I, I'm, I'm glad you, you, you freed me from this corruption. I, I must, I must do everything I can to repair the damage I have done, both 
you know, both in, in, in uh, to friends and family and, and to Kala Pang as, as well to the people. Um, and he'll just say, well, uh, uh, I, I must give you all thanks. Uh, just, uh, just a moment. And he will uh, fly. He'll kind of hover by uh, some burnt tree roots. Uh, we'll say kind of between. And uh, he kind of gently kind of rips it up. And there is a small treasure trove that he says as, as thanks uh, and he get and the treasure hoard is as below and yes we okay uh, some gold some silver three opals And as well as some item, other items that he will kind of give you as thanks. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'll just click on it. One of them's an arrow of dragons, uh, uh, a dragon slaying. Um, a necklace of adaption and a staff of the python and it says well uh, and um the uh, the dragon will also talk to uh Polo and the other and his cousins uh, about his regret from you know what happened with his clan and stuff and um, between all of you they decide not uh, you know they don't carry on with trying to uh, kill Pangu so um, but he will actually take you all and just kind of fly you back to Kalapang which. Um, you know, it doesn't take very long on, on the back of Pangil. Goes pretty, he goes pretty fast. Um, he will come down and he starts apologizing to the town folks, explaining the cause of the attack and promises to aid in restoring the town. Um, you guys also get the promised reward of the, um, 600 gold uh, 600 gold piece reward as thanks and uh, Luntian will, will give you all a get uh, give you a charm grants you insight of his people so you can you can cast either augury or speak with plants once per day as you know everything close you know as we go back uh they don't do they don't do a festival celebration you know they were going to but after you guys told them about all the horrible things that's been happening with festivals they, they just keep it to like a light um a small get together you know followed by lots of like labor and and work so yeah, okay like a little party so that is how this adventure ends and that's where i we will stop the video and the come again to next week we'll do sh i think it's shadow of the sun should we stay level 10 for tier 2 or should we move up to tier 3 uh you would be moving to tier 3 because that's when we get into the the arkin saying are the the one we did earlier but that is actually where i will stop the video Thank y'all for watching and